She's arguably one of this year's biggest pop music disruptors, Dua Lipa. The British Albanian artist tonight performing her hit songs, One Kiss and Electricity, at the American Music Awards. Her self-titled album, Dua Lipa, Dua means love in Albanian, produced six hit singles. One, don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. Two, Including this year's boyfriend breakup anthem, New Rules. Three, don't be a strange. You know you're going to wake up in his bed in the morning. And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him. The visually addictive music video has become one of YouTube's most watched of all time. This is one, one billion. billion. This is one billion. One billion plus YouTube views on this one. That's yeah. yeah, stupid. Man. It is. That's crazy. It is crazy. Her post breakup battle cry, I don't give a, cementing her as Spotify's most streamed female artist of 2017. Even when, when you say it, like the number one female stream, number female, one. it's, it's terrifying. I can't even say it myself. Female. I don't even want to say it out loud because I still don't see myself in the same place as these big, big global artists. She might not see it, but life is all about perspective. Touring in five continents over the past 12 months, her reach is global. I've done a lot of my learning on the job because everything has happened so fast. Sometimes you really have to get thrown into the deep end to just get the best out of yourself. We joined this singer on tour in Chicago. Two years ago, she performed here at the Vic Theater as a supporting act. I'm really excited about tonight. But tonight, it's her show. When I did that show, it was such a big deal for me. And to get to headline my own one is crazy. You can make the argument that music is in her genes. My father was a musician in Kosovo, and he started in a, in a band called Order. What I benefited from that was that music was always played in the house. Though her father found substantial national fame, he moved to England before the Kosovo War, where Dua was born. My parents worked in like restaurants and bars and my dad kind of went to university in the evening and worked all through the day and watching them work so hard has really been a big part of why I am who I am and how my dad would always say you need to work really, really hard to get a little bit of luck. An aspiring artist from childhood, she was told early on she didn't have the voice and that's when she went all in with training and study and eventually posting YouTube videos covering other artists. Here she is as a kid singing Alicia Keys' No One. No one, no one, no one. I thought was the easiest thing I could reach out to was social media. Never had that kind of Justin Bieber effect that I was hoping for. <laughs> but um, it, it, it definitely, it, it created a form of portfolio for me. And then I started getting some like messages from producers and people being like, hey, if you want to come and use the studio, you can come and just write. And that's how I started. Dua's most recent hit, Electricity, is a collaboration with Mark Brunson in Diplo. She openly draws inspiration from other artists. We witnessed her in her green room being absorbed by Rosalia's Malamante. Moments before warming up. They say it's not what you do, but it's how you do. Sorry, I'm so gross and sweaty. It was amazing. It never gets old. That feeling, even when I first started, people were like, what's your favorite thing about touring? It's like, it's seeing people sing those songs back to me. And that feeling never, ever gets old. It's why I love what I do what I do. It's nice to have you on tour, Pickle. Thanks, Pickle. But being on the road can be tough. Pixie and I are basically tour wives. <laughs> Pixie finished photography at university and I didn't have a tour photographer and I was like, oh my god, it would be amazing if you came on tour with me. And literally about a week after she just got on the tour bus and joined us. And it's nice to have a friend on the road and she's mental. 
and crazy and true. Yeah, it's true. she's a lot of fun. By the time we caught up with them outside of Dua's hotel, they had company. We're heading off to a workout. It kind of feels normal about our day, where we wake up, we find a workout that we like somewhere nearby, and we just go. We work out, we have breakfast, and we start our day. And that kind of makes us feel like we're kind of in a routine. And that life isn't as crazy as it actually is. Later that day, it's back to work. As Dua heads out to the Lollapalooza Music Festival. I like this festival. It's always got such a good vibe. And if it's anything like last night's show, I think it's going to be sick. From there, she heads into interviews. Actually, my first interview was this one here. It's a sunny hill. Now I'm very excited to meet her because it's, it means a lot to me. And fan meet and greets. <laughs> And finally, oh she heads out to the stage. <laughs> Thousands of fans have been waiting hours. The band performs its rituals. And then it's only her. And the people. Connected by the music and the moment. For Nightline, I'm Zachary Kish in Chicago. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.